Hello, hello young people and children. Um, it's been a while, hasn't it, since we've seen each other uh, and it's uh, my pleasure now to be filming a few videos for you um, as we look at Jesus together um, as we normally would on a Sunday. Um, but this is on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure lots of you use YouTube quite a lot. Uh, and we're just going to be going through um, the Bible and looking at Jesus, is, who Jesus is over five weeks. And you might see some other familiar faces um, on your screens too, uh, as well. So we, we really hope that you're well. Um, we really miss you. Um, if you were with us right now, we'd be playing a nice game like North, South, East, West or Dead Donkey, uh, two of my favourites. Um, but we're not going to do that today. Um, although you might want to play a game with your mum and dad if you'd like. Um, this is designed um, for our RISE children, our primary school age children, um, but if you're a bit older or a bit younger, you're still more than welcome to be here um, as we look at who Jesus is. Now, what I want you to do, children, young people, if you're with your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister, um, whoever you're with today, what I want you to do in, in about five seconds time, I want you to pause the screen and I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen and I want you to, with your mum and dad, if they're better at writing than you, that's fine, write down as many names um, for Jesus and God that you can think of. So write down as many different ways people describe Jesus and God and we'll come back in about 30 seconds. But you can pause for as long as you want. I'm only going to be pausing for about 10 seconds. Um, but yeah, pause your YouTube, write down those names and we'll be back in 10 seconds. I'll do a countdown on my fingers while I'm quiet. Lovely. Okay, so I hope you took 30 seconds a minute, however long, it doesn't matter, it's not, it's not a competition to come up with as many names for Jesus as you can. Now I did this earlier, um, if you'll come with me, I'm in the youth room at the church um, upstairs where all the, the teenagers go um, and I'm hoping Johnny will flip this around for me when we put it on the YouTube um, if he's able to. So these are all my many names and I, I've gone with um, Messiah, King, it should be King of Kings but King will do because my Chalkmanship's not great. I am the Word, Almighty One, Jesus, of course, Alpha and Omega, Good Shepherd, Emmanuel, that's there for you, Emmanuel, good name, uh, and Son of Man. All these many, many names, aren't they, for, for Jesus. And what I want you to think about is your list, and have you got those ones? Um, and if you don't, that's absolutely fine. Have you got some that I don't have? Um, if you've got some that I don't have, that is great, excellent work. Um, and you could always, you can always put it in the comments what you got, which I didn't get, um, or drop me a message. Um, get your mum and dad to drop me an email, um, and we can really get a good collection of all the different names that Jesus is known as, um, because he was such an important man uh, and part of God, and therefore he's incredibly special to us, isn't he? Um, and that's why he's got so many names now. You probably got one name, maybe a nickname or two. Um, your mummy and daddy, they've got mum and mum and dad, but also they've got their the names they've been given. They might be Mrs. something or Mr. something or Dr. something as well. Um, but generally we only have two or three names. Jesus has so many names because he's so um, important and he did so much for us and does so much for us. Um, so much so. But the first question we're looking at when we're looking at Jesus is, who do you say I am? Who is Jesus? Now, have you got your Bibles with you? I hope you've got your Bibles with you. Um, we're going to turn together to, to the Bible and we're going to go to Matthew, which I am sure you know is the first book in the New Testament. Uh, so we're looking at Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 20. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes, not minutes, a couple of seconds uh, to find the right page. I'm reading from the hands-on Bible, the NLT version, um, and you can follow along on whatever version you've got. That's absolutely fine. So Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 20. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples... Who do people say that the Son of Man is? 
another name for Jesus, the Son of Man? Well, they replied, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, and others say Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. Then he asked them, but who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, you are blessed, Simon, son of John, because my father in heaven has revealed this to you. You did not learn this from any human being. Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock. And upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. Then he sternly warned his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. So what answer did Peter give when he was asked, who do you say I am? Well, he gave the right answer. That's one of the most important things to take from this. You can see that from, from Jesus' response. He was really proud. Not proud, really, really pleased that, that Peter had got the answer from God above. That Jesus was the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Now pause your video again for a second. And what I want you to do is I want you to test and quiz your mummy or daddy and ask them what they think Messiah means. All right, I'll give you 10 seconds. I'm not going to do the countdown this time. But what do they think the Messiah means? Okay, we're back. So let's see what answers they've had. This is going to be interesting, isn't it? The Messiah is a really, really good word. And what the Messiah means is the promised deliverer of the Jewish nation, the saviour of a particular group. And in this case, that includes us. You see, Jesus wasn't just a man. He wasn't just a prophet. He wasn't just somebody who was really, really great. No, Jesus came down and did something extraordinary on the cross. He did something extraordinary in the miracles in his life. Uh, and that is why he's so um, worth learning about. And that's why when Peter said, you are the Messiah, you are the chosen one, you are the one that will save our people. Jesus was really impressed by that answer because that described Jesus perfectly. I am Tom. I am also a minister in training. But that's my title. And Jesus was Jesus. But his title was Messiah. Because he wasn't just any other man. That was his role. That is his job. And he's still alive and the Messiah today. And that's something to be really, really excited about. And there's lots of other words that describe the Messiah. The Son of Man. The Lamb. The lamb he was described as because he sacrificed himself for each and every one of us. The almighty one because the amount of power that he had. The king of kings who rode in on a donkey uh, in Jerusalem. He is an important person and he's someone who is really worth learning about. So I hope you join me over the next few weeks as we unpack a little bit more about this man Jesus and what he means to us. And I know, I know lots of you will be listening to this and think, I know about Jesus, I know Jesus. And that's great. But this is just an opportunity to, to remember, uh, to revise, and maybe to get a bit closer to him too. So he is our Messiah, which means he is the chosen one, which means that he uh, delivered us uh, from evil. Uh, he means we have hope and a future. And that's something that we've got to be really excited about. Um, and we are the church that Peter has, uh, that Peter with the rock uh, built the church on. Uh, and it's up to us to pass on that message to others. So when you think about who Jesus is, and that's my challenge for you now as we end this recording. When you think about Jesus is, I want you to think beyond that, that guy with the long hair and the sandals. 
that maybe lots of us think about. Maybe he's got a beard a bit like me at the moment. But think beyond that and remember that his role is Messiah uh, and that he has done so much for us. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Now, the last thing I want you to do is a little activity that maybe you can do. I haven't got a tester on me today. Um, but what I want you to do is I want you to do me a cross-stitch poem. So what I want you to do is either down that axis do Messiah. And then within that you can put all other different words and um, descriptive words for who Jesus and the Messiah is. Or Jesus. And do exactly the same. You can put Jesus um, and you can put joy, um, whatever fits in saviour, down at the S, um, whatever you think fits. Uh, and you can decorate it and make it look really pretty. Um, and that'd be really good, because then when we come back to gather in the building, if we can bring some of these things with us, we can really make um, our, our rooms and our notice boards um, look brilliant again, uh, as we remember Jesus at this time. Um, that'd be great if you could do that. Um, have a great week. Join me next week as we again look um, at who Jesus is um, and why he's so important to us um, in this time. Uh, and until then, God bless uh, and big love. We miss you uh, and we look forward to seeing you again. All right, bye guys.